Hey guys, and welcome to the Bayern View. Um, Bayern Munich 1, Leverkusen 1. It was a draw. Um, we're back here with Alex. Uh, obviously, as you can see, he is a Leverkusen fan. So it's going to be interesting um, to get his point of view on it, coming from the other side, if you want to say. Um, but yeah, big up to him. This is his time to speak. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, smash the thumbs up, all that good stuff. And yeah, man, number one, thank you for coming on. And number two... Um, what did you think about that game, mate? Um, well, it's just painful, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Um, probably for very different reasons for why it was painful for you. But, yeah, probably the, one of the worst performances that I've seen Lady Hughes and um, Bruce in years. Um, never ever seen them be dominated quite that badly. Um, it wasn't just that we got dominated, but even when we did have the ball... Um, I, maybe it was just just the turf um just didn't seem to the ball just didn't seem to bounce our way um how wet it was um couldn't control the ball at all um great great defensively though um in that respect improved massively but yeah. in terms of actually creating chances dire absolutely dire <laughs> yeah no one one i'm with you on that one um I, I just felt like you guys, and obviously you can have your opinion on it and let me know what you think when I say it, but I felt like you guys got the goal, um, which we shouldn't have given you. Pavlovic obviously passes to Neuer, which is obviously way too heavy on the on the pass, gives you a corner, and then Andrich doing what Andrich does. You know, those, those are the type of goals. If you've got to give him that chance, he's going to score it. Um, but other than that, um, yes, Bayern did dominate the ball, but I felt like you guys were just playing for the draw, personally. Yeah, you could you could tell quite from quite early on. Um, yeah, we we would have been happy with the draw. Um, yeah, I said yesterday, going going to Bayern Munich, you can't go there expecting to win. Um, yeah. It will always be an extremely tough game. Um, we said that we would get a point out of it. Start like before the game started, I would have taken it hundred percent. Um, but obviously, I'd much rather we put in a bit more of a fight. Yeah, to, yeah. to get that. No, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I agree. Uh, I generally, look, we did say though, didn't we, in the, um, in the show, um, the fact of is it going to be one of those where we both cancel each other out? Is it going to be a draw, or is somebody going to dominate to the point where you score in a good amount of goals? Um, so. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me um, whatsoever. I, I do feel like, and obviously you might feel otherwise because obviously you're an opposition fan. I felt like you got away with some of these yellows. Um, <laughs> I don't know what your opinion is on it, but I'm, no, I'm not, by the way, I'm not calling for the ref. I don't ever want to win because of the referee, by the way. Just in general, though, some of those, I believe, could have been um, fouls. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if anything, I thought he was a bit too card happy. Um, I'm thinking of um, the foul, potential foul at the end of the match. Um, Grimaldo was so clearly tripped, right on the edge of the box, perfect position for him. If he was allowed the free kick, which he should have had, but yeah, it, I'm not saying it should be in a yellow card, but um, it was it was a clear foul and in a potential goal scoring opportunity for him. Um, in terms of um, yellow cards we got, I don't think um, we deserve more. Um, there was a lot of gamesmanship, I think, um, mm. with both yes, sides. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, um, especially from from the beginning. You say from the start that we were playing for, for um, time wasting from about the fifth minute, maybe um, an early yellow card that could have been warranted, but. I, other than um, perhaps the um, outrageous um, decision not to award a free kick at the end, I think we'd be quite happy with the referee performance today. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Again, that's the whole point of getting you obviously on this because I obviously totally disagree, but we are totally two different people, two different opinions, and support two different teams. So, yeah, no, I'm with you on that one. Um, what, do you, what do you think of – see, me personally, I haven't done my match reaction yet – but I generally feel like we were so wasteful. There's so many shots from outside. Like Pavlovich goal is just mwah. Don't get it twisted. But um, Alfonso Davies, 
taking way too many shots. Line the shot. Take, why are you taking that shot? You know what I mean? There's so many shots that realistically could you have done better with it? You know, in hindsight, if it goes in, cool, we're celebrating. But you know what I mean? It's it's one of those. Yeah, um, I guess it was just a testament to Larry Hughes and that so many of your shots were just um, outside the box or half chances. Um, other than Gnabry's um, double um, woodwork chance. Can't yes, yes. Any other chances which would have been a guaranteed goal for you? Um, kind of reminds me a bit of when we played we, we played Roma in the Europa League a few seasons ago. Um, it was very similar. Um, Roma had like one shot all, all match. Um, we were peppering their goal shots, but none of them were particularly dangerous. Dominated the ball, but yeah, <laughs> um, I guess you could see um, the Jose Mourinho in. Gabby Alonso today. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, uh, what, what did you from from this game from a from an opponent's perspective? Like the way we dominated with the with the ball. You know, you guys only having three shots with two on target. You know, we had eighteen shots today, only three on target. Like, that's ridiculous. We've got some of the like best attacking talent. 18 shots with three on target. It's just, it's disgusting, in my opinion, anyway, you know? Yeah, um, I put it down to good defence and labour accusing because a few True. Of shots in on target good had, have not had um, a few good blocks? Um, I think we, it's, it's actually too deep for you. We, extremely compact. We, we weren't really going for it like, um not buying were but when when you aren't going for it when you do get a chance you you do tend to be a bit more clinical because you think yeah. this is yeah. the we have to we have to take this um tell her the end of the game if that was taken again if he decided to cut it across Neuer rather than it straight at him that that could have been a winner um is you can't really um claim any goals from maybe people's chance yeah so. no I'm, I'm with you yeah i'm with you on that yeah. one do you obviously from 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 your um team's point of view brilliant defensive display uh you can't really do much against the the goal um but for, for your defensive display, though, do you feel like they were man-marking Harry Kane? Because a lot of people in, in my live stream were saying, Harry Kane's been rubbish, he's been rubbish. And I'm like, is it the fact that he's rubbish in this game, which could be the point, or is it the fact that he is being, like they are so well and compact defensively that they are literally stopping him every single time he tries to get the ball? Yeah, I think um, we must have. Um, had some instructions to Mark Kane out of the game because he was basically invisible, almost as invisible mm. as Boniface, which is saying something. Um, I think Kane's just one of those classic um, penalty box strikers. Um, yes, he has got some good like link up play in his game, but um, play, players like that would struggle against um, a team like Labour Fusion that we were playing today. Um, I guess maybe if you had Tom Thomas Miller. Um, someone a bit more flexible, a bit more roaming. Mm. Um, it might have um, played better to your favour, but yeah, Kane's just a bit too static and we clearly did a very good job on him. Yeah, no, no, 100%, mate. Um, I, I'm, with you, I'm with you on that one. And it's a great point for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not... Please don't take it as me being rude when I say this, but like, you guys have already lost. You know what I mean? So getting that point could be important going going you know further into into the calendar into the games and so on and so forth for the for the table because the likelihood is by but i don't see Bayern going undefeated right now we are undefeated but i don't see us doing what you guys did last season we will lose it probably be to one of the worst teams in the league it seems to be like that every single season um but yeah um final thoughts mate on the game um yeah it's very very glad to get to get a point um mm -hmm. well yeah what to say we um we didn't deserve to win in terms of the footballing um ability but i guess um we did show a bit quite a bit of spirit 
Um, and I also hope that the two injuries at the end of the game, um, Grimaldo, of course, and also came for you guys. I hope that doesn't um, cause either team too many problems um, throughout the season. Hopefully they both um, recover quite quickly. And yeah, if we can get a point against Bayern in, the, in one of the worst games in years, I guess it does show that we have made significant progress and hopefully can ensure that once against Milan and the rest of the season. Yeah, no, 1,000%. Um, yeah, no matter if I like your team or not, I don't want any of your players getting injured. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm 100% with you on that one. Thank you for coming on, Alex, as, all, uh, as always, mate. I will get you uh, on. Well, I'll definitely um, be messaging you, probably bantering you uh, if you do go on to lose again because um, I'm that type of guy. But, no, I, either way, thank you for um, coming on the show uh, yesterday and um, coming back on today, mate. Um, Muchly and greatly appreciate it. So, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, smash the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until then, 